This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. So next in the total internal energy as a state function, the, what we have discussed the systems, open system, closed system and isolated system, correct? So after that, uh, now we are considering the system are classified accordingly, okay, what we have discussed and after that there is the we have to discuss about the work, first one is work. So in this first you should know what is adiabatic okay let us first examine a change in internal energy by doing a work we take a system containing some quantity of water see here this is the system you know this is the surrounding okay and uh, you also know this is the system so we take a system containing some quantity of water here which is having some quantity of water okay so in a thermoflask or in an insulated breaker this would not allow exchange of heat between the system and surroundings through its boundary and we call this type of system as adiabatic so uh, what is meant by adiabatic uh, this would not allow exchange of heat this would not allow this would not allow exchange of heat between the system system and surroundings okay through its through the wall we call this type of system as adiabatic okay so next the manner in which the state of a such system may be changed will be called adiabatic process adiabatic process is a process in which there is no transfer of heat between the system and surroundings so this is also called as adiabatic process okay so this is also called as adiabatic process here the wall separating the system and the surroundings is called this is called adiabatic wall okay next let us bring the change in internal energy of this system by doing some work on it okay now it is not uh, any changes inside okay it will but you just consider let us consider the change in internal energy of the system by doing some work on it let us call the initial state of the system as a state a so consider the changes consider change in the internal energy of the system consider change in the internal energy of the system okay by doing some work let us consider initial state b a this is called initial state initial state of the system so and its temperature b p a the internal energy of the system in state a is called u a in this you are considering ua means this is the internal energy of the system internal energy of the system we can change the state of the system into different types so this is the this is all about the initial state okay A, T, A, U, A. So this is the 
all about the initial state when we are, there is a change in the state of the system in two different ways the first uh, one way i will consider the okay first one way i will consider we do some mechanical work mm, here we do some mechanical work okay we do some mechanical work so uh, that is uh, you just say of uh, one kilo joule by rotating a set of small paddles and then by turbing water let the new state be called b okay here just consider that new state is b and it's a uh, temperature b temperature btb and uh, internal energies ub okay so we can found that here tb is uh, greater than ta okay and the change in temperature that is uh, delta t is equal to tb minus ta okay let the total internal energy of the system in the bbub okay and uh, change in internal energy that is delta u is equal to ub minus un so this is one way next one i will discuss you about two way sorry second way okay in second way we do some we now do an equal amount 1 kilojoule electrical work we are doing here electrical work okay electrical work that is of uh, 1 kilojoule okay and uh, with the help of an immersion rod and note down the temperature changes we find the same temperature here also uh, delta t what is change in temperature that is delta t is equal to tb minus ta okay so in fact the and the next thing is uh, in fact the experiment in the above manner were done by jp joule between uh, and he jowl jp okay jowl between 1840 and 1850 and he was able to show that a given amount of work done on the system no matter how it was done produced the same change of state as measured by the change in temperature of the system so it seems appropriate to define a quantity the internal energy u whose value is characteristics of the state of a system whereby the adiabatic work required to bring out the change of state is equal to the difference between the value of u in one state and in another state so if you want that uh, change of the internal energy you are getting that is u2 minus u1 this is this one state and this is another state so you can call it as what adiabatic work wad okay so therefore internal energy u of the system is a state function that is u is a state function 
and next the positive sign express the adiabatic is positive when work is done on the system if the work is done by the system will be negative okay so if it is uh, wad W A D is positive means it is work done on the system. W A D is uh, negative work done by the system. Okay, next heat. The second concept here is heat. Uh, we can also change the internal energy of the system by transfer of heat from the surroundings or to the system or to vice versa. See. Here we are exchanging the heat energy. So transferring heat energy of the system okay, from the surroundings to the system or vice versa as uh, is shown in this figure. So without expenditure of work. This exchange of energy which is a result of temperature difference is called heat. This exchange of energy. This exchange of energy which is a result of temperature difference which is a result of temperature difference okay which is result of temperature difference is called heat q okay let us consider bringing about the cha same change in temperature by transfer of heat through the thermally conducting walls instead of adiabatic walls so it is as shown in this figure heat of energy through its boundary we take water at temperature ta now just consider water at temperature Ta. Water at temperature Ta in a container having thermally conducting walls, same made up of copper and enclose it in a huge heat reservoir at temperature Tb. Okay, this is the water temperature where it is in Tb means uh, this is the reservoir temperature. It in a huge heat reservoir enclosed made up of copper and enclosed it in a huge reserve huge heat reservoir okay reservoir Q can be measured in terms of the temperature difference Tb minus T in this change change in internal energy delta u where we can write that is a q tb minus ta so that change in internal energy delta u is equal to q okay so when no work is done at constant volume the Q is positive when heat is transferred from the surrounding to the system and Q is negative when heat is transferred from system to the surrounding C. When the Q is positive when the from surrounding to the heat is transferred from surrounding to the system. So this is called system okay and this is the surrounding from surrounding to the system this is a positive when q is negative when it is from the the this is system okay this is surrounding from system to surrounding this is negative okay so this is about the heat next consider the general case let us consider the general case in which a change of heat is brought about both by doing work and by transfer of heat Okay, then it is done by doing work and transfer of heat. We write the 
we know that the change in internal energy we can write so change in internal energy i will write you that is delta u is equal to q plus w okay this has equation 1 for given change in state q and w can vary depending on uh, uh, how the change is carried out uh, uh, here q plus w is equal to delta u will depend only on initial and final state it will be independent of the way the change is carried out if there is no transfer of energy as heat or as a work that is if w is equal to 0 q is equal to 0 then delta is equal to 0 here when w is equal to 0 q is equal to 0 then delta u is equal to 0 means when there is a no heat no work then it will happen no transfer of energy as a heat or as a work the equation delta u this one what i am saying delta u is equal to q plus v is mathematical statement of this first law of thermodynamics which this is called a first law of thermodynamics so what it is saying the energy can neither be created neither be created nor be destroyed the system is constant it is commonly stated as law of conversation of energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. Okay. And next one is problem. Okay. So uh, I will read, uh, read this problem. Express the change in internal energy of a system when no heat is observed by the system from the surroundings but work is done on the what type of wall does the system have see here no heat is observed by the system but work is done on the system so answer shall i write here here only i will write the solution delta u is equal to adiabatic wall this is wall is adiabatic next no work is done on the system but q amount of heat is taken out from the system and given to the surroundings what type of work there is means it means exchange of heat takes place but no work is done thermally conducting balls here second one is uh, answer for this is u is equal to minus q that is thermally conducting balls okay thermally conducting walls and the, for this the solution is uh, w amount of work is done by the system and q amount of heat is supplied to the system what type of system would it be that is delta u is equal to q minus w that is closed system okay